Hello and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be talking about yet another Python Easter egg. This one is from future import Barry as Fluffle. <laughs> I don't know if it's <laughs> meant to be pronounced out, out loud, but um, yes, let's jump into it and show you what this does and then why it came about and kind of the joke of it. Of course, there isn't a full explanation of the joke, so I'll just give you my interpretation. But anyway, uh, so what this is, is it's a special future compiler flag. This is what the future module typically does. Um, I actually have a video about future, so I'll link that in the description. Um, but if you do from future import berry as fluffle, this sets the uh, interpreter into a mode where the does not equal operator no longer functions. Uh, so if we do one, two does not equal three, you'll see that we get a syntax error. With Barry as the BDFL, use the uh, the old deprecated and removed um, less than greater than uh, does not equal operator instead of does not equal. And if we do that as as it says, you'll see that it indeed works. Now the um, the original message text of this was supposed to re-enable the print function or the print statement as well, uh, but that was not implemented. It seems, but I guess. <laughs> I guess they didn't want to make it too useful. Now, another quirk of this is it only works in the interactive interpreter. You can't use it in a script. So if we write a script that does from future import berry as fluffle, and we'll talk about what this means in a bit. Actually, I think it means friendly language uncle for life, kind of a play on words from BDFL being benevolent dictator for life, which is what Guido is uh, colloquially referred to as. Um, but yeah, if we do from future import berry as fluffle and you know use some of the fluffle's syntax in here, you'll see that it does not work. So uh, it only works in the interactive interpreter. I don't know why this is. My guess is that uh, they didn't want to break any real code, and so they only made the Easter egg um, executable inside. <laughs> the interactive interpreter, which is a good thing. Like you wouldn't want people actually writing code like this um, based on a silly flag. Now, you could enable it using encoding hacks like I've done in the past with like future f strings and stuff, but they chose to not do that, which makes sense. Um, so let's talk about the pep that enabled this. And this was an April Fool's pep, uh, pep 401, which signaled the retirement of the BDFL, the Benevolent Dictator for Life, Guido. Uh, essentially saying, you know, we no longer have um, a person running running the uh, running the ship. And the, the, the perhaps ironic thing about this is this actually happened several years later. Well, 10-ish ten, ten years later, uh, when Guido stopped, stepped down and the steering console was formed, um, partially due to the backlash of some syntax changes in the in the language um but yeah this is a this is an april fool's joke and it goes over you know some of the jokes in here um but I, i'll i'll let you open this up and read it um i'm not going to go over it in detail but this is the executable part about this and <laughs> kind of a funny thing is this uh this feature flag is actually broken in a few versions of python like i believe in python 3.3 it causes seg faults, um, but <laughs> they have fixed it since then. Uh, but anyway, that's that's Barry as Fluffle and um, the last of these Easter eggs. Uh, hopefully you enjoy it. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.